In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a professional email account through Microsoft 365 for cold email. And before I get into the details of this video, I just want to mention that when you're sending cold emails, if you care about your deliverability, which means that you care that your emails land in the primary inbox and not spam, then the type of email account that you set up is really important because not all email accounts are the same. If you use some cheap email account providers, then your emails are probably going to go to spam, meaning that you're going to get no responses and you're going to generate no revenue for your company. But if you care about deliverability, then there's only two services that offer email account creation that have great, de great deliverability. So that's Google Workspace and then also Microsoft 365. I've already made a series of videos showing you how to set up Google Workspace email accounts. And for most of your email accounts, I recommend that you use Google Workspace because it's easier to set up. And in my opinion, they're just better. But if you also want to set up a few Microsoft 365 email accounts, then this video is for you. And as you can see on my screen, when you type in Microsoft 365 into Google and you click on the website, you're going to see this. And Microsoft 365 is basically just you know, Microsoft's product that offers you a bunch of different things. But one of the things that comes with this is an Outlook email account, and that's what you use to send cold emails from. Now, there's a few things that you should know when you're setting up your Microsoft email accounts that I'm going to go through in this video. So it's important that you watch this entire video. Otherwise, if you miss any of these things, it might not work for you. So the first thing is that if you go to Email Chase for University and you go to part two where it says technical setup, all the videos that you see here, these are all from Google Workspace email accounts. However, the principles I discuss in these videos still applies to Microsoft. So I'm not gonna remake every single video here for, just for Microsoft, but you should still watch these videos and then apply the same principles to your Microsoft account because it's still the same thing basically. So for example, you know, adding your SPF, DKIM, DMARC records, verifying that they're set up correctly, you know, doing domain forwarding, profile picture, all that kind of stuff is still relevant. Now, first thing you want to do when you're setting up your Microsoft 365 email account is make sure that after you sign up for a Microsoft 365 account that you add a domain to your account because when you sign up here, by default, when you sign up, they're going to give you some random random sort of email, which is some basically some gibberish followed by at my, online Microsoft.com or basically something that's not your actual domain. But what you want to do is just go to YouTube, type in what you see here, find this video. And this video, which is from Microsoft, shows you how to add a domain to your Microsoft 365 account so that when you create your email account, you can make it look professional. So, you know, it's going to say your first name at domain.com. So that's what you obviously want to set up. And when you're setting up your Microsoft 365 account, I'm pretty sure that just like Google Workspace, they give you the option to either buy a domain as you're setting up the account or use an existing domain that you already have somewhere so that's your choice but either way the point is is that once you have signed up for the account and you're inside your microsoft 365 admin panel make sure that you do what is shown in this video so that you've added a domain for your email account once you've created your email account you want to then make sure that you add spf dkim and dmark records because if you don't do this then your emails will go to spam now i've already made videos and email chaser for google workspace showing you how to do this but if you're setting up a microsoft 365 email account then i recommend that you just go to youtube and you just find the video that i'm showing you here this guy's already created a video on this topic this guy's video is pretty good so just watch this video it's very easy if you go into the description of this video you'll see that he even has timestamps showing you exactly where it is so for example if you want to see how to add your spf to the microsoft 365 email account it's right here if you want to go straight to the dkm section it's here if you want to do the dmark section it's right here now remember once you've added your spf dkim and dmark records to your microsoft account it's important that you verify that they're added correctly. And the best way to verify is by going to Email Chaser University, part two, and then clicking on this video here where it says how to verify that your SPF, DKM, and DMARC records are correct. So you can follow the instructions in this video for your Microsoft account and just make sure that everything is working correctly. Next thing I want to mention is that 
once you've set up your Microsoft 365 account and you're ready to go, there's a couple of things that you need to do before you start sending emails. The first is that you need to make sure that you're, well, there's two things. The first is make sure that you're not on the trial tenant. So by default, when you sign up for Microsoft 365 account, for some reason, they put you basically on a trial trial period. And if you're on this trial period, then when you connect your Microsoft email account to a cold email sending tool like Email Chaser, it's not going to work. Your emails are going to just basically return sort of these bounce messages. And it's just not going to work when you are connecting your email account to any kind of third-party tool. So it might send the emails correctly when you are logged in directly to your Microsoft Outlook account and you send an email directly there. But when you use some kind of tool like Email Chaser, it's not going to work. So this article over here has more details about that. But as you can see in this response from someone, the general idea is that generally these issues occur while using trial tenant to perform this uh, the sent email activity using Graph API. So what that means, so this person is complaining that they can't send emails from their Microsoft account. It's just bouncing. And uh, this is really the reason. So the point is, is that you want to make sure you're not on the trial tenant. So once you've signed up, if you see that it says that you're on trial period, you have to click. Um, there's a button inside Microsoft 365 that allows you to start the subscription immediately. So you want to click that. And if you don't know how to do that, contact Microsoft support and make sure that they move that you're not on the trial period because if you are, it's not going to work. And the second thing that's really important is that you activate two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication inside your Microsoft account. If you don't do this, then again, it's not going to work. It's going to basically balance your messages and just not work properly. So definitely set up the 2FA or MFA uh, as soon as possible. And that's pretty much it. Once you've done that, once you've done everything I've shown you in this video, uh, all you have to do is log into your cold email sending tool, such as Email Chaser, for example. You then click the email counts section and you can click the connect your email button. And as you can see, one of the options is Microsoft 365. So you can then connect your Microsoft email accounts to Email Chaser. And in case you're wondering why you want to do that, it's because Email Chaser has a feature called inbox rotation, which means that when you're creating a campaign, you can connect multiple email accounts to a single campaign so that you spread the sending over multiple different email accounts so that you don't go to spam. Because if you send too many emails from a single email account, your emails will go to spam. So this is just a way of improving your deliverability. Anyways, that's all I have to say in this video. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this about cold email, subscribe to our YouTube channel.